hey, <laughs> how have you been? What have you been up to? I've been up to a little bit of this and a little bit of this, a whole lot of this, and uh, the holidays, of course. But today, I thought I would share with you all my empties that I've used up and give you some quick little reviews on them. So let's go. If you are a, a longtime subscriber to my channel, you'll have seen these before. They are the L'Oreal Elnet Hairspray. They are totally my holy grail, my only real styling product that I use. As you can see, I'm not too particular. One is color treated hair, one is unscented. Yeah, I just kind of buy what's available. And I love that they come in these little uh, travel sizes as well. I think that's totally awesome. And I always have one of these ready to go for when I uh, hit the road. So, love these. One of the things that I really love about these is they don't weigh my hair down. They give a nice firm hold. But I could also, once it's dry, brush it out and kind of start over. I've done, you know second day hair, blown it out again, and resprayed, and I don't have a lot of buildup. Uh, so I really, really love these. Okay, let's move on to some shampoo. This is the Aussie Mega Moist Shampoo and Conditioner, and it's a hydrating shampoo and conditioner. It has a beautiful smell, very um, sweet, and I think it did a really great job. I don't like spending a lot of money on shampoo and conditioner because I feel like uh, the formula is not that different in the drugstore as opposed to a high-end shampoo. So I'd rather put my beauty dollars in other places than in my shampoo and conditioner that I'm just washing down the drain. Some of my favorite shampoo is from Suave, by the way. Sticking with hair care products, I have uh, this it's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. This has been around for a while in the beauty community. It uh, says it does 10 things in one. Basically, it's a leave-in conditioner and it does a great job. It gives you, hydrates your hair, it detangles, it gives it a little bit more shine. Uh, I quite like it. I like that it's a pump, spray pump, so it's easy to use. And this is one of those things that I like plowed through most of it to about here and then I probably bought something new and it sat and sat and sat so that's why it's a little dusty and I was like, uh, girl, use this up. But I would totally buy this again. I like it quite a bit. All right, in the use up category, I've been kind of like on a mission to go through products that you just have a little bit left in the bottom, you liked them, and for you know whatever reason you um, stopped using them or they were replaced by something new. So I'm trying to clear the decks a little bit and use up some of those products. Uh, I'll probably be going through my collection and like really pulling them out so I can really focus on them. Uh, if you're interested in seeing that, let me know and I will do a video on that. But for now, this is what we've got. And here we have a trio of masks from Peter Thomas Roth. They were all in a set together. Um, and they're not as big as the full size jar, but there is a ton of product in here, so don't shy away from these smaller jars. I think they're actually ideal. So I'm going to talk about them from the one I like the least to the one I like the most. <clears throat> and there was nothing wrong with any of them, but just for me personally, in a mask, I am looking for something that has a little bit more of an active ingredient that's going to um, help enhance my complexion. So I'm not just looking for something to hydrate or uh, a clay mask necessarily. I want something that's going to do a little bit more. So because of that, I would put the um, rose stem cell mask at the bottom. It's a beautiful mask. It smells beautiful if you like roses. Um, and it's like a hydrating mask. It's fine. It did its job. I wouldn't say there's anything miraculous about this. Next is the Cucumber Gel Mask. And this one I liked. It's a very cooling mask. I liked it a lot during the summer, especially if I had been down by the pool and maybe got a little extra sun that I shouldn't have. Uh, I liked it quite a bit for that. It was very refreshing to use. And the one I like the best is this Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. And it has a pumpkin spice a smell to it. It has a little fine grit. So when you put it on, you, you kind of 
are doing a little bit of exfoliating, but the enzyme in there, uh, you really do feel it once you remove it that you've had some um, extra exfoliating from the enzymes that are in this. So this was my absolute favorite, especially around the holidays because it smells like pumpkins. That was super corny. Let me dig in the bag and get the next group. So next up, I'm going to do some skincare for, for you guys. Uh, Obviously, I've used up a lot of skincare products during this time frame. I'm going to start off with this one from Pixi. It's the Caroline Hyrons. I hope I'm saying that right. Double Cleanse. It's a, uh, one of their uh, YouTube collaborations. And uh, this is like a double weld uh, product. On one side was like a solid, um, almost looked a little bit like coconut oil, and the other side was a cream bread cream-based cleanser. And the idea is that you would use the oil one, you'd put it on, emulsify it between your hands, use it to take off your makeup, and then use the cream cleanser for a, a second cleanse. I used it a little bit differently. At night I would use the oil-based cleanser and just leave it at that. And in the morning I would use the cream-based cleanser. Um, I really thought this was a lovely product. Uh, however, I think you're going to go through it pretty fast. When I look at, uh, there's 50 mils on each side. When I compare that to like my Paula's Choice Cleanser that I use, that has 190 mils in it. So um, you're gonna plow through this pretty quickly, but it's a really lovely uh, cleanser. I probably will not repurchase this because I'm like way into my Paula's Choice stuff again. And that is my Holy Grail skincare line, so uh, but this is a really nice one from Target. So let me talk about my favorite cleanser. I have two bottles of it here. This is the Paula's Choice Resist Optimal Results Hydrating Cleanser. This is an awesome cleanser. I use it daily and um, I think it does a great job removing most makeup. Some waterproof mascara does not come off with this, but it removes just about everything else. It leaves me feeling uh, soft and hydrated, not stripped, and it is just a beautiful, beautiful cleanser. I just try never to be without this. Next, I have two other products from Paula's Choice that I used up. One is the uh, Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid. This is a chemical exfoliant so uh, but don't be scared by the word chemical it's very gentle on your face it doesn't leave your face uh, red or irritated and actually I like it better than a physical exfoliant that has those little beads in it they're bad for the environment and they're not that great for your skin you can rub too hard and you can actually ca cause like micro tears in your skin so this is a much better choice. This is lightweight, it doesn't feel like anything on your skin once it dries so you can use it under your makeup and you don't feel like you have like a heavy layer under there. And you can use this morning and night. I really love it. I think it really does a great job of keeping my skin clear from breakouts and helps keep the blackheads under control, not totally gone but at, under control. I highly recommend that. I actually think that's probably her number one best-selling product, just FYI. Then the other thing I have is the Paula's Choice Resist 1% Retinol Booster. And this comes with an airless pump, which is awesome. And you can mix this with your, your day or nighttime moisturizer, or you can just apply it alone. There's a lot of different ways you can use a booster product like this. And, um, I liked it quite a bit. I've moved on to a couple of new things from her that I'm testing, uh, so I'm, I'm currently not using a retinol product, but plan to get back on their retinol bandwagon very soon. Next up, I'm going to talk about this trial um, set from Drunk Elephant. One is the Rise and Glow, and the other is the Nighttime Bright. These had some deluxe minis in them, which I finally used. and. I really was very excited to try this line because it has um, fewer ingredients in it. It's it's kind of a pared down line, and supposedly that's does it doesn't contain a lot of extra ingredients that maybe would irritate your skin. So I was super excited about it, particularly the C Firma Day Serum because that seems to show up on a lot of people's lists of favorites. And um, I thought when I would talk about this maybe I would talk about what I used up first because that's usually an indicator of what you like the best. So um, let's just quickly run through what was in 
the rise and glow or the daytime set was the B Hydra Intensive Hydrating Gel. It looks like this in the blue cap and the C Firma Day Serum. And in the nighttime was the um, TLC Frambois, Frambois? Mm. Glycolic Night Serum and the, the Virgin Marula Luxury Face Oil. So the thing that I used up first was the Be Hydra Intensive Hydrating Gel, this little one in the blue cap. I thought this was pretty awesome. It was a lightweight gel moisturizer. If you're oily, this worked beautifully. I love the way it felt on my skin. It was really beautiful, and uh, I really enjoyed using it, and I plowed through this very quickly. Then after that, it's kind of a toss-up. I think I kind of went through these two about the same time, and the Marula oil took a little bit longer, uh, but this is a second product that I liked the most, so these two were the things I liked the most, the Marula oil and the Be Hydra um, intensive hydrating gel. For whatever reason, I you know, I really like using a little bit of a facial oil, especially around my crinkly bits. Um, and these were fine. I was not overwhelmed by this, guys. Not for the price. Sorry. After finishing these up, I really decided that I needed to go back to my Paula's Choice. That was my favorite. And just stick with that, because I was having some weird breakouts. I don't know what it was from. I just have my suspicions. Oh, and before I leave uh, skincare, I have an eye cream from Dr. Dennis Gross. It's the Ferulic and Retinol Triple Correction Eye Serum. And I liked this quite a bit. It is um, just a very lightweight gel. It absorbs quickly. It doesn't ball up under your makeup. Uh, it is quite pricey, but it lasted a long time. And I liked this a lot. I have a new one from Dr. Dennis Gross that I'm trying that I think is maybe a little bit more hydrating and maybe a little bit more what I'm after. The Hyaluronic Marine Do It All Eye Gel. And it looks like this. A little creamier, a little heavier, and definitely what I need under my eyes. If you're looking for a lightweight one, this is really quite nice. All right, moving on to some like miscellaneous products. The first is this Dove Dry Spray Invisible Deodorant. I think it's a little weird to talk about deodorant in a beauty video, but <laughs> this is awesome because it doesn't leave any white marks. It's truly lovely. Uh, Kate and I both use this and it is my holy grail deodorant. I like the, the pink cap fragrance, whatever that is. It's not on here, but that's clean finish. Maybe I don't know. I wish they would make it in a travel size. And then the other thing I used up was this daily brush cleaner from Sephora, and it does a great job. Um, a good, great brush cleaner. If you're looking for one, this works very well. I think this is the second bottle I actually have used up. So I also used up one of my very, very absolute favorite uh, mascaras, the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Waterproof Mascara. It is my holy grail. I probably have three back up. If they ever stopped making it, I think I would die. This is the mascara that I measure all other mascaras against. have not found anything to replace it. One last thing that I used up is this La Roche-Posay Anthelios Mineral um, Sunscreen. I use the tinted version. It has an SPF of 50. It also comes in a non-tinted version. Uh, but actually, I use this a lot, almost like um, a foundation when I travel during the summer. It's wonderful. It gives me just enough coverage, but it is definitely um, not for everyone. It only comes in this one shade. I don't know if you can see it here. But this is my Holy Grail sunscreen. Love it. It's a mineral base, so it doesn't tend to break me out like some other sunscreens do. Which leads me to the next group of products that I just don't like and am not going to use up because I don't like them. And life's too short to use bad beauty products that don't work for you. I'm just saying, it is okay to get rid of things that don't work for you. I'm giving myself permis permission to do that this year. So the first one I have is this Kate Somerville Eradicate Acne in a Snap. I picked this up when I was going to be traveling. I thought, Oh, this looks awesome. They come in these little packs of like um, Q-tips. 
you break off the end here and the product goes down to the tip here. Sounds great. Well, there's not enough product in there. It just like it doesn't even get it wet enough to apply to your skin. I don't feel like it worked at all. And I even passed off a, a sleeve of these to Kate. You know, there were two sleeves like this in here. And she had the same reaction. So um, not a win in my book. Next up I have uh, from Murad, Invisiblur Perfecting Shield Broad Spectrum SPF. That is like... Um, like a primer. Primer and sunscreen all in one. As you can see, I've used almost all of it. However, it has a chemical um, sunscreen in it, and I really paid attention to that this year and just discovered that uh, it's a no-go for me with chemical sunscreens. They really make me break out, and I couldn't understand why this wasn't working for me, and then I read the ingredient list, and it went in the in the goodbye bin. If you are not allergic or don't react to a chemical sunscreen, it's a nice product. It feels a tiny bit heavy on the skin, but uh, it does kind of blur the pores out a little bit. Then I have uh, this from L'Oreal. It's their Revitalift Moisturizing Moisturizer. Comes in a pot. So this was sent to me by Octoly which uh, sends product to influencers for free so that you can review them. You might have noticed a lot of people were reviewing this, on, especially on Instagram. <clears throat> and that's because they were doing a big campaign push. And I just recently saw an ad that's saying, over 10,000 women, you know, saw visible results in two weeks. Well, um, I never posted anything on this because I couldn't stand this product. And I didn't want to... Um, necessarily, I couldn't find the right venue to talk about it, so I opted not to post, which probably means I'll never get another free product from Octoly again, but that's okay with me. First of all, it's in a jar. I cannot stand products that come in a jar like this because you dip in your fingers in it and it contaminates the product. Any active ingredients that might be in there dissipate quickly. Not good. It smells very strong of fragrance and not necessarily my favorite smell. And it's really heavy. Like this is for someone maybe with really dry skin, not for someone like me who has oily or combination skin. This was a total no-go for me. So I opted just put it aside. I tried to even use it like on my hands or other parts of my body just to use it up. And I finally went, I cannot stand the smell of this. So I'm saying goodbye to that. So uh, another product that wasn't my favorite although I'm still working on it and I will use this up, is from uh, um, Bite Beauty. And this is their Agave Lip Balm. I only have this much left, which is not much. And a lot of people, when this came out, were just crazy about it. And I was like, oh, who doesn't love a good lip balm? And so I bought it. And I did not really like it. And it's not that it isn't... Um, moisturizing on your lips it does and it stays on good but it is so stiff putting it on I really feel like I have to drag it across my lips a few times warm the product up before I actually can like apply it um, so I, I don't think it's worth the money I am using it up I'll finish it all the way up but I wanted to talk about it in this video because I knew I had other things that I was going to be sharing that were like not winners for me. So uh, I think there are other lip balms from the drugstore that do a better job at a fraction of the cost. Another product that I have that I haven't totally used up but I've kind of put in the bin is from NARS. It's the Translucent Crystal Light Reflecting Setting Powder. I've used quite a bit of it. It's really pressed very hard so when you rub your brush in it or your you know your finger in it it almost doesn't even feel like you're getting anything on your finger, although you are. It looked nice on the skin, but it just was not great to use. Like, I felt like I had to use a lot of it to get the blurring properties that I wanted. Um, and then once it started getting to this point, it was really difficult to get anything more out of the pan. And I finally said, I'm done. I'm done with that. And I would not repurchase this. I. 
I think there's even drugstore powders that are, are nicer than this that I like better. So, And then the last two things I have are uh, some vitamin C products from Paula's Choice, which I love. However, I let them sit too long and they turned. So if you can see, uh, this got very dark. Here's my fresh one. Um, and that's just shame on me. I stocked up and I shouldn't have. So this is just a cautionary tale. If you're using vitamin C products, don't stock up. Only buy as you need because they do go bad. That wraps up my empties. Um, it feels good to have cleaned out my empties bin so I can start fresh for the new year. I think what I'm going to do, and tell me if you're interested in this, I'm going to pull out some of my products that I'm like way at the bottom, just products that I like that I've stopped using and only have a little bit of dribs and drabs in the bottom, if you're, and kind of talk about them and share them as like, kind of like a quasi project pan if you're interested, so let me know below. I wish you all a very happy new year, and I look forward to seeing you more regularly, and uh, I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.